Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dom, and today we are checking out the app switcher in iOS 7. And as you can see, it's quite different. Apple has completely changed the app switcher from the norm, and you no longer have music controls available to the left over here. You just have apps and their screenshots. Now, of course, you can pull up the control center from the app switcher if you'd like to access your music controls. So they're still right there, but as you can see, the entire layout is different, and you can kind of easily scroll through these cards very nicely, just at a slow pace, or you can use the bottom row of icons as a slider. So you can slide back and forth very easily and find the app that you'd like to go into or like to close. And if you want to close an app, simply swipe up and the stack of cards here will be merged together, omitting the app that you closed. So it's a pretty cool looking app switcher. I really do like the look of this. It reminds me of quite a few jailbreak tweaks that I've seen over my time covering that kind of news and I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that Apple took a hint from some of the awesome app switcher tweaks that are out there. That include screenshots like this and uh, swiping up like this. You know, there's, I mean, there's just tons of tweaks that do something like that. But I'm kind of happy that it's native here in iOS 7. So let me know what you guys think about the app switcher in iOS 7 in the comments below. I think it's definitely a change. It's a nice feeling it's got a nice flow to it and like I said you can still access the music controls via the control center right here at the bottom and you swipe up to close your apps so let me know what you guys think in the comments below thanks again for watching this is Dom and have a great day <laughs>